Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trilby, and happy Valentine's Day. Now, I'm sure that many of you, whether you're in a relationship, or if you're single, or if you're just going to go with friends, or whatever, that you might be going to the movie theatres this weekend, this Valentine's weekend, and you may be going to see Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I'm sure many of you have already made up your minds, but after having seen Fifty Shades of Grey yesterday on its opening day, I honestly think you should consider spending your money this Valentine's weekend on something else, because that movie was abhorrent. That w that movie was literal, genuine, non-metaphorical domestic abuse packaged up and sold to the masses as a romance, as erotica, and I really do not think you should see it. Uh, I, I, what, what, it's up to you, what you do as a consumer, it's up to you where your money goes, but my job as a critic is to see a movie and let you know if it's any good or whether or not it's worth spending your money on, and I honestly genuine, genuinely believe from the bottom of my cholesterol-ridden heart that Fifty Shades of Grey should not receive any of your money. And I know some of you in relationships might take your significant other in the hopes of seeing titillating sex in order to, you know, get lucky or whatever that night. I, I, I get that. Okay, I'm a guy. I'm a heterosexual male. I get that. But just FYI, um, there's maybe about four or five minutes of sex in the actual 125 minute movie and you see nothing below the belt. Uh, I'm in the UK. It was rated an 18. But if you removed all of the sex talk, if you removed some of the dialogue and the language, this movie could easily pass as a 15. Easy. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to go to the movie theatres this weekend with a, with a significant other, I highly recommend seeing something other than One Shade of Black. Obviously, domestic abuse. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, go see Kingsman The Secret Service. That film's brilliant. If you're in the UK, go see Big Hero 6. Go see Selma, which, believe it or not, is less depressing than Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, go and see what else is there. Sean the Sheep movie is out in the UK. It's actually really, really good. Jupiter Ascending, if you're a teenager if uh, that, that and you were hoping to sneak in to see Fifty Shades of Grey, I think Jupiter Ascending is the better film. Um, in the description below, you will find a link to my incredibly long, in-depth, literally 3,000 word review of Fifty Shades of Grey. I would massively appreciate it if, if you agree with me, or uh, if, there, if you have agreed with me in the past, if you are generally on the level that I am when it comes to movies, then I would um, kindly... I would kindly ask you to consider sharing the article around, share the review on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, because some people are going to go and see the movie, take their date or whatever, and expect to see titillation or maybe even schlock, something to laugh at. But after seeing that movie, it it was genuinely depressing. And I'm not even doing the whole, oh, this, this film was so bad, it was so... T it was morally reprehensible. I was genuinely seeing domestic abuse being portrayed on the big screen that was meant to be romantic. But like, I, I elaborate in depth prof profusely in my um, in my review on my website. So it, it's all explained there. But happy Valentine's Day and don't spend it watching Fifty Shades of Fucked Up.